Hi, I'm Chris Sachs. I'm the Vice President of Client Success for SEO Clarity. And today I'm super fortunate to be talking to an SEO who's been around the block. I've known him since I think 2013, 2014. Uh, and I'm really excited to introduce Nakul Goyal. Nakul, welcome. Chris, thank you very much. Again, again, I've known you for a long time and thank you for the opportunity. I'm looking forward to speaking to you and uh, our SEO fellows. Yeah, awesome. I got some great questions lined up for you, but I guess before we get started, maybe you just tell us a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm your average Joe. Um, you know, I've been uh, doing SEO, uh, growth marketing for over 20 years. This is the, actually, the funny thing is this is the only thing I've done all my life. Uh, I was mm. thinking about it. If Google or SEO didn't exist, what I'd be doing? And I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've, been, I've been doing SEO for a long time, Chris, and uh, I've spent uh, and had uh, explosive growth at some great brands in the last couple of years, uh, particularly uh, Oriental Trading Company, which is owned by Warren Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, me and my team were responsible for some great growth at TripAdvisor's 55 sites in 30 different languages. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. And yeah. last but not the least, where I'm today at Carfax, which is, uh, you know, been quote unquote, doing wonders, but I can't talk about it because it's uh, part of a publicly listed company. I want to keep going with that a little bit too. And uh, I, writing with, you know, having some, some real achievements and some wins in the past, um, you know, I, I'd be interested in hearing maybe what would you crown or what would you say has been one of your bigger achievements in SEO? Mm. So, so to be honest, I think my, my great accomplishments, uh, my team's accomplishments uh, are more in the last couple of years um, at uh, my current employer, but I won't get into the details of that as promised. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you about one of my previous employers. Um, and, and this is uh, several years ago, uh, we had an opportunity to solve, Chris, a customer's problem, a consumer problem that we thought or saw that we could solve with building a product for search. When I built a little one pager and, and went to my VP for his uh, blessings, he was reluctant. He was, he was not excited about that opportunity. He, he didn't see that uh, it, this would actually have an impact. He yeah. considered or he thought uh, uh, probably rightfully that it could uh, cannibalize our traffic and uh, it would just be a shift from one you know, product to another. Uh, however, uh, let's just say I arm wrestled and convinced him uh, to allow me to test. And it's like, hey, you know, I don't have the data. You know, I have some data, but it's really just a concept. I, I dreamt or made up the numbers. I'm biased. Uh, so I could be totally wrong. So allow me to test it. He, uh, he fortunately blessed it, allowed me to test it in a very, very, uh, you know, compact, low level of effort, low fidelity, uh, you know, uh, initiative. We launched it in less than 30 days. And I won't get into the details of what it was, but I, I keep track of that product. That product has continued to grow over the last several years. And um, uh, it has done over $100 million in revenue, incremental revenue uh, for that business. So it's really, really exciting. Again, the story here is, hey, you may not believe in it and, and you know, in, in whatever that initiative might be, but mm -hmm. let America vote, let the world vote. Let the test tell you the results that will it work or not? Because we, we might be biased around a certain particular initiative and say, hey, this will work or this will not work based on what we think uh, we have experienced in our past lives. But that yeah. may totally be wrong based yeah. on the industry, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that was a really good lesson. And um, I, I, let's just say my VP was very happy, has been happy, and um, we stay in touch. And um, you know, it's exciting to see that product out there on the web. I love when SEOs tell me they test. It's, it's like music to my ears because I feel like the, the strongest companies that lead in, in their vertical, in their industry when it comes to SEO are really great at testing. Uh, and you also highlighted a really interesting other challenge I think a lot of enterprise SEOs face, which is that executive buy-in, right? So you, you use the right term, let me test, right? I, we won't go all in, let me test. Uh, would you say that you know, using that and, and leveraging uh, being good at testing has helped you with that executive buy-in, or oh, is it big time, big time, yeah, big time, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's great, and, and that's sound advice I think for for anybody, especially getting started uh, in SEO. Be really good at one testing and understanding uh, how to get executive buy-in. That's awesome. So um, working now, you you had a little taste of the agency side, then you moved all in on in-house SEO. Worked for some amazing companies, still doing it today. Um, what would you say? 
uh, if you were to tell other SEOs that are either getting started in in-house in SEO, working at a big company, uh, what would you what would you highlight as maybe one of the bigger challenges that they might face just being that in-house SEO enterprise? Yeah, it's interesting. It's it's funny. You know, it's going to be funny when I mention this, um, Chris. When I talk to you know SEO practitioners in different industries, and I'm sure you 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 affirm to that is if people often complain about, hey, I don't have enough resources. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna really take a, that, that resource challenge, but trust me, it exists all over the web. Nobody, whether you go to the product team, the A-B testing, conversion optimization team, yeah. which we like to call the money team, or, mm -hmm. or the SEO team, nobody's saying I have infinite resources. Nobody does. Right. We don't have infinite money. You know, everything is finite in this world that we live in, quote unquote, right? Uh, so, so I think what I would say, uh, Chris, to that question is, uh, when I look at companies who do SEO really, really well, mm -hmm. they, like when I look at Oriental Trading Company, when I look at TripAdvisor, or where I am today, and other clients that I've had over the years that I advise, et cetera, what I've seen is, the placement of the SEO champion or champions within the organization. If you bury SEO somewhere within e-commerce merchandising, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be a merchandising function. No offense to merchandising. Merchandising is great. Mm -hmm. However, if you elevate it to um, uh, that, that uh, role in the organization that it has quote unquote senior leadership team exposure, which I had at Oriental Trading Company. I didn't get it. I had to earn it, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, you don't get it. You have to earn it. Uh, so there's a little bit of a chicken and egg thing there. Uh, same thing at TripAdvisor, wildly successful world-class team, but they get the importance of SEO and they position SEO within the organization mm -hmm. at the right place, at the right level. And I'm right. not talking about titles, et cetera. It's access to the senior leadership team mm -hmm. because you need the, as we, you and I were chatting in our previous conversation, uh, executive buy-in. How are you supposed to get the executive buy-in? Yeah. Now, once you get the executive buy-in, the key, you, quote unquote, the resources, then you have to have a really clear SEO playbook, which mm -hmm. I, in my opinion, consists of three things. I'm gonna use the three T's. Okay. One is team. So team. making sure that you have a world-class SEO team that is passionate about SEO. It's not about they read the webmaster guidelines, they did a course uh, on SEO, they have a certification, no. It's about passion, right? So somebody who's really passionate, really competitive, really hungry to have an impact. Two is the uh, tools. So ensuring that they have access to the right tools. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a plug to SEO Clarity, whether it's SEO Clarity or the several dozens of tools that are out there, whether in-house, homegrown, or off-the-shelf tools. You gotta have access to the tools to do your job effectively. Mm -hmm. And last is having a really clear SEO testing methodology and making sure uh, that you, you are data-driven, you test everything, and you let the test results speak for themselves. If you do that, then you can continue to earn the trust. So when I look at all my uh, current employer or any of my previous employers, I've never had a resource issue, right? And that's partly because I promised them something and then I delivered on that promise. Right. It's a circle, right? It's a feedback loop. You, know, you, you promise something, you deliver it, you get it again, and then you keep doing it. I love that. I love the three T's. I think that's really good. And and knowing you, Knuckle, for as long as I have, I would add one more T. I'd give I'd give a fourth T, which is tenacity. Uh, and I think uh, having that, and you've displayed that just in being able to convince and persuade and evangelize, uh, you have to stick to it. But I, I love that. I love when there's formulas, right? I, I love acronyms. I love all of that. That's excellent. Um, great answer. Okay, so um, I, have, uh, I have one more, maybe a co compound uh, question for you here. Uh, but uh, I, I think um, you know, in SEO, it's ever changing. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why people start and get into SEO, and there's a lot of reasons why they continue doing it. Uh, so maybe you could just tell us a little bit about what excites you today about SEO. So I think I think uh, you know, as you can tell, Chris, I'm very very results driven, and and to me, the one thing that excites me about SEO is having hockeystick impact. And what I've noticed over the years at at companies. You know, that people who work on that product, that initiative, sometimes don't fully understand what the ceiling is, what the opportunity is. Mm. And, you know, I, I, I have, I've been fortunate to be at the right place at the right time and uh, be given the opportunity to break that ceiling. 
uh, we break on that ceiling repeatedly. And, uh, you know, I think that's one thing, like being impact driven mm -hmm. and being, not, not being crazy. It's like, for example, if I start uh, Nicole'sBlog.com and say, hey, I'm going to have a million new visa a month through SEO, that's not going to happen. That's unrealistic. Mm -hmm. uh, however, if you understand your industry really, really well, you know, and, and you see, hey, what can we really grow? A lot of companies are normally, quote unquote, okay with, you know, five and 10% growth year over year. And don't get me wrong, five or 10% growth is awesome, mm -hmm. right? But I, and, and I like that growth, but if, they, if there's money on the table, I hate leaving it on the table, right? Our job is to go capture that. So if you don't know how much money is on the table, how, how do you know when you capture the 10% that's enough that yeah. you got, quote unquote, all of it or most of it? Right. So to me, you know, having hockey to growth, capturing, you know, the real estate that is out there for you to capture and really earn it by building a great product that consumers love and trust, mm -hmm. I think is just very, very exciting. I drive my cake from it every single day. That's what stops me from going to sleep every night. And that's <laughs> what wakes me up every morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the impact. The fuel. It's the fuel. Yeah. I love it. That's great. So, uh, Something's got to frustrate you. Uh, every S I, I sometimes I I've played psychologists in the past, uh, and I I've talked to people just tell me, give it all to me, right? There's there are things that that keep us up at night that aren't as exciting either. So maybe what tell us a little bit about enterprise yeah. SEO, SEO in general, the Google, you know, what frustrates you? Yeah. So so believe it or not, Chris, you know, I do not have a frustration that comes to mind because guess what? If I was frustrated with something, I would have changed my career and started being a farmer or something, right? <laughs> So I really love what, what I do. And I think, uh, you know, the, the frustrations are not frustrations. Those are opportunities. Mm -hmm. there's, there's plenty of opportunity out there. You know, I would, I would encourage my fellow SEO practitioners to dig deep. Um, you, know, there's, there's, uh, you know, think about the concept of uh, the 10X rules. Mm. There, there's success out there. You just have to go look for it. So Nakula, uh, I'm going to turn it over to you. Uh, I don't have a question. I'm just interested in, uh, you know, what, if you had something to tell uh, the industry or fellow SEOs, your peers, you know, any advice that you have? Mm. That, that's a very good open-ended question, Chris. Uh, let, let me think. You know, I, I think about the conversation you and I are having right now. And, you know, what comes to mind, Chris, is just like SEO Clarity, I am very, very passionate about advancing uh, this industry. You know, you're always creating content that is helping the community, you know, and, and break the ceiling. So I'm always keen to speaking the value of SEO to you know, fellow uh, SEOs, industry leaders, CEOs and CMOs, et cetera. I'm, I'm on LinkedIn, so please feel free to connect with me. And I'm also always looking for a talent. I'm looking for SEO rock stars. So please check out, I'm gonna do a shameless uh, plug. I work for Carfax, so check out carfax.com slash careers. We always have open opportunities, so check them out. And you know, even if we don't have an opportunity, please connect with me. I, I, I know uh, uh, people are too in the SEO industry uh, and uh, you know, I, might, I might be able to connect you with somebody. So I would love to do that if I can enable you to be more successful. I love that. That's what uh, you know, excites me, the impact. If you can have an impact somewhere else um, and you know, I can play a very tiny role in just enablement, I would love to do that. That's awesome. And I could totally vouch for you as well. Anybody who's looking to get started, uh, make a career change, uh, elevate your game. Nakul's a great person to learn from. You definitely want to work with him, work for him, work around him. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. Thank you again for the opportunity. Uh, good luck and uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Yeah, thanks so much. Great chatting with you. Bye-bye. Thank you.